Broadcasting to you from the Mobile Big Game Fishing Club, you're listening to the Wave Podcast brought to you by Boaters Lift and Hallover Inlet Channels. I'm your host, Real Cool, the director of Good Times and Tan Lines at Boaters Lift. I'm here today with Bryant Knight from D-Day Response Group. Hey, Brian, how are you doing? Well, thank you for having me. I'm doing well. We're glad to have you, and we're glad to have your your kids right in front yeah. of us yeah. to help hopefully save some lives out on the water. That's our goal. So tell me a little bit about yourself and how you were introduced to the boating community. Uh, well, I've been around uh, boats and boating my entire life. Um, I'm originally from Mobile, Alabama, and, you know, we're... We're here in beautiful Orange Beach and, you know, coming from Mobile as a kid to Orange Beach. I mean, you know, my family did it. My grandparents did it. So we've been coming out here for generations. Yeah. Wow, that's really, really exciting. And have you ever fished at this tournament? I've never fished this tournament. Um, this is this is a different ball game. Um, you know, we when I started out, you know, it was just in the back of a center console. And we were out, you know, going for King Mackerel or you know, Wahoo or something like that. But, you know, these, these boats here, they're going out for, you know, they're going out for Marlin. They're going out for big tuna. They're going out, you know, just hunting the big game out there. And so the, the, the good folks over at the Mobile Big Game Fishing Club, they've uh, been, this has been a, a club that's one of the oldest clubs along the Gulf Coast and a very well organized, very well organized tournament. So really it's fortunate to be a sponsor for them and, and to be out here. I could not agree more. Well, can you tell us a little bit more about D-Day? Yeah. So uh, uh, D-Day Response Group, um, it's an all-veteran-owned company. It was formed about eight years ago uh, uh, by Don Deo and his wife, Cecilia. Uh, Don and I, we served together in the military. Um, we were Special Forces uh, soldiers, Green Berets. And um, uh, so Don had the idea of taking the knowledge of everything we learned overseas uh, in combat, combat emergency, tactical medicine, and putting it into a med kit and sending it offshore to these fishermen because, you know, it wasn't the fact that it was a lot of the tactical stuff. It was more we were out remote in remote areas. And as you well know, um, some of these boats go way out there. And, uh, you know, they are gone for, for days on end. And emergency response to them, if something bad happened, um, they could be a day away, two days away, you know, hours away. Um, you know, it just depends. And if it's a life-saving emergency, you know, those crews, those captains, crews, those boat owners, they need to be prepared uh, to respond to any situation. And that's what our medical kits are about. Of course, of course. Well, I personally, as well as the entire Boaters List crew, would love to thank you for your ser- service. Thanks. What is one of the main injuries or accidents that happens on a boat? Well, we see, because this is our business, we see a lot. We, we see pretty much everything. Um, you know, we see, uh, you know, usually there's a lot of hooks that go through hands mm-hmm. and, and people get caught in their, their legs. Um, so I always tell people, Carry a set of bolt cutters uh, on the boat and then, you know, have our bandages uh, ready to go when it's time to bandage that person up. Um, but we, we've seen gaff injuries, you know, that we've had seen heart attacks. Um, we've had some really uh, re- bad reports from some boaters out there that, you know, uh, somebody's been run over by the boat and gets struck by the prop. That, that is a major industry or uh, uh, injury, and there could be a lot of somebody could bleed out really, really fast. And being able to respond to that injury, um, applying a tourniquet, applying pressure dressings, you know, being able to respond to a situation like that, you know, those captain and crews, you know, they've they've got seconds to save mm-hmm. somebody's life. Yeah, of course, and I'm. I'm- I'm sure there's panic or adrenaline's running. Do you have any advice on what to do when something like that happens? Um, well, try to stay calm. You know, somebody needs to be in control. Um, you need to call 911 or you need to call the Coast Guard or, you know, any first responder out there that, you know, is able to get out to uh, your location as quickly as possible, whether it be Coast Guard aviation response or via boat or uh, the Marine Police, you know, somebody that's going to get uh, to that person pretty quickly as a second level or a first responder um, as quickly as possible. Now, that time between that first responder and the injury, 
that is a, that's on the captain and the crew. They have to be able to and be prepared to uh, to react to a situation. So if somebody falls out, you know, from heat stroke, you know, they need to be able to, you know, to to work with that. If somebody has a heart attack, you know, if somebody stops breathing, they need to start CPR. Um, so you know, our med kits. I tell people all the time. I mean, we we have different size med kits. This is our 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 smallest and our largest med kit. So um, this little guy right here, you know, it's perfect for uh, center consoles. You know, the 20 to 25 footer um, center console. It's great for people just to have one of these to throw in the back of their car um, mm -hmm. just to carry around. But you know, it has a little bit of everything. So, You're ready to hold it so you can yeah. Get so we we have. <laughs> This is our cat tourniquet. Um, I like to say that the cat tourniquet has probably saved more lives um, than anything that we sell, any product that we have in our med kits. Um, we have a Celox Rapid for, uh, it's a clotting factor for arterial bleeds. And then we have your basic pressure dressing um, in here. So you have trauma shears, you know, there's a, a dehydration packets, there's a chest seal in case there was a chest injury. injury. We have a, a burn tech bandage that's there in case there was a, someone was burned really bad. And you needed to like take care of that really quick. You know, um, there's a lot of ocean water and things that swim in the ocean um, are really dirty. So, it, you know, we've had uh, bites from barracudas or shark bites. And so we have irrigation, these, these saline irrigations that you can just work, kind of clean that wound out because you want to get them, uh, get that wound as clean as possible. You know, and then before, you know, as you're getting them to safety. So, yeah, this is our small kit. And, and how many kits do you have? So we, we have a wide variety. And I like to say that we have uh, a kit for any size boat. You know, um, this big kit, you know, is more designed for that 65 to, uh, you know, larger size uh, yacht, you know, sport fish boat. Um, but we have, like I said, this small kit and we have kits sizes in between so we cater to the customer we cater to the size of the boat that's the way we plan our med kits so it's uh you know it's very we we put a lot of thought in designing our our product that, that's really really cool and i'm i'm sure it's really rewarding to hear stories that something you helped create has saved so many lives i tell you that is what is truly rewarding about this job is we get calls from captains we get calls from boat owners and they're calling us and saying, man, you would not believe what just happened. And they go through the scenario of somebody being injured out at sea and or on the water. And they're like, hey, this kit saved somebody's life. Thank you very much. And that's just really, really cool to watch. I'm sure it is. And you, you're you aware that you're one of Voters List first ever sponsors. Yep. What were your first thoughts when you heard about Voters List? So, uh, you know, I found out... Um, about Boaters List through Captain Cody, and then I ended up meeting the crew, you know, the team, Boaters List team, and just, you know, really liked the idea. I mean, you know, the social media platform is just the way to go nowadays. You know, it's just, it truly is. And I, I'm an old guy, you know, and I get it. And so there's uh, there's just, there's so much, it's a, it's a valuable tool. Um, I know, I have I own three boats. And so I know if I need a fiberglass person, I can call a fiberglass person. I know if I need a diesel mechanic, I can get a diesel mechanic out there. Um, you know, if I want a fishing guide and go on a guided trip, I can call, you know, there's a whole slew of guides that I can call from any place around the country that sign up on boaters list. So it's really cool. Yeah. And we, we are so, so excited about you being a part of the boaters list crew. Yeah. Thanks. Voters list. Everything's, Everything's better, better on the, the water. water.